Okay, so let me repeat a couple of those things now that more of you have finished writing. Um, sine goes with cosecant. Okay, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, 1 over the sine. Um, that's how you'd have to type it into the calculator. If you were asked what is the cosecant of some angle and you type in the calculator, there's not a cosecant button. So you have to type in 1 over the sine of that angle. Um, cosine, its reciprocal is secant. Tangent's reciprocal is cotangent. The cos never pair up. Sine and cosecant, cosine and secant, tangent and cotangent. Uh, we call those the reciprocal trig functions. So I can ask you about those based off the unit circle, just like sine, cosine, and tangent. So uh, let's do a few more where we're going to evaluate these angles that come straight off of the unit circle. The sine of 3 pi over 4. Sine of 3 pi over 4, so yay. So, uh, over 4 angles are the easy ones. There's square root 2 over 2. You just got to decide whether it's positive or negative. 3 pi over 4 is in the second quadrant. So y coordinates are positive in the second quadrant. So that's positive square root 2 over 2. Or again, you have your unit circle right in front of you. Just find 3 pi over 4. Sine is the y coordinate. Okay? Cosine of negative pi over 3. So I'm going to forget about the negative for a second. I'm just going to focus on the pi over 3. Cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. Now negative pi over 3 is in the fourth quadrant. So x coordinates are still positive in the fourth quadrant. So it is just positive 1 half. Now tangent. For the tangent, we put the sine over the cosine. So the tangent of pi over 2 is equal to the sine of pi over 2 over the cosine of pi over 2. Well, pi over 2 is on the positive y-axis. That means its y-coordinate, or its sine, is 1. Its x-coordinate, its cosine, is 0. What is the value of 1 over 0? Undefined. You can't divide by zero, so tangent is undefined at pi over two. That means tangent has no value at pi over two. Let's do another tangent. Three pi. Now, three pi is more than one rotation. Okay, two pi is as far as we go in one rotation. So that means there are a couple of ways you can look at it. A lot of people like to look at it as, okay, well, let me find the coterminal angle, okay? Um, let me find the coterminal angle by subtracting 2 pi. So that means that the tangent of 3 pi is equivalent to the tangent of just pi. And tangent is the sine over the cosine. The sine of pi pi is the negative, is on the negative x-axis, so its y-coordinate is 0, its x-coordinate is negative 1. What is 0 divided by negative 1? 0. That one's okay. 0 divided by a constant is okay. It is 0. So those are the two other values of tangent. We talked about it being square root 3 over 3, just the square root of 3, 1. It can also be undefined and zero. Those are the five values of tangent you can get off the unit circle. Okay, cosecant of 7 pi over 6. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Okay, uh, pi over 6, sine of pi over 6 would be a 1 half. I got to decide whether it's positive or negative. 7 pi over 6 is in which quadrant? 7 over 6 is a little bit bigger than 1, so that means it's in the third quadrant, so that means your y coordinates are negative, signs are negative. Uh, so 1 times negative 2 over 1, so the cosecant of 7 pi over 6 is negative 2. Now, sine and cosine can never be bigger than 1 or negative 1. That's as big as they'll get. Okay, um, for sine and cosine. But cosecant and secant are the reciprocals. So if you flip over a tiny number, you end up with a bigger number. 
So cosecant and secant can have values greater than one and negative one, just as the sine of seven pi over six. We just came straight off the unit for I looked at seven pi over six and got its y coordinate. Huh? All right, secant of negative five pi over four. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine okay. over four angles are easy they're always square root two over two I just got to figure out what quadrant I'm in five over four negative five over four would put me in the second quadrant so my x's or my cosines are negative so I've got one times, flip the bottom one over, and then rationalize. So I've got negatives, two square root to two over two, those twos cancel. That is equal to the negative square root of two. Okay, one more. Cotangent. Cotangent is cosine over sine because it's the reciprocal of tangent. Tangent sine over cosine, so we flip that over for cotangent. Ah, cosine of over three angles is one half. Sine of over three angles is the square root of three over two. Four over three is a little bit more than one, so I'm in the third quadrant, meaning both sine and cosine are negative. So I've got negative one half times two over the square root of three. That one's negative as well. Twos cancel. Negative times negative is positive. One over the square root of three, when I rationalize that, is the square root of three over three. does take a little bit of getting used to. I understand that. I've been using the unit circle for like almost half my life, so that's why I'm so familiar with it. Um, you haven't been working with it that long, so it's going to take you a little bit more time to do it. Um, I have a 10 marks assignment for you, but before we jump up to, and go for it, uh, I need to explain a few things. Okay? If I were to ask you about an angle that is not on the unit circle. For example, 59 pi over 10. We don't have any over 10 angles on our unit circle. So you're gonna to have to rely on your calculator for this. Okay, so first of all, I mentioned that cosecant does not have a button on your calculator. So you're gonna to have to express that as one over sine. You need to make sure that your calculator is in radian mode. The mode button is beside the second. Press mode. Scroll down. Make sure radian is highlighted. Okay. Then type in 1 over sine 59 pi over 10. Close your parentheses. That is the value for um, the cosecant of 59 pi over 10. 10 marks will tell you how to round. I think on a lot of these they say... Uh, four numbers after the decimal place. Okay? That's the first thing that I need to tell you about. The second thing that I need to tell you about, and I don't like that they put it on the assignment called the unit circle because this really has nothing to do with the unit circle, but there are some problems on there that say the terminal side of a ray goes through the point or something like that is the... Um, terminology, I can't remember exactly how it's phrased, but something like this. They say that the terminal side of a ray goes through the point negative 3, 4. So what you need to do is you need to graph negative 3, 4, okay, so that's in the second quadrant, okay. You need to build yourself a triangle here, okay. The right angle is always formed with the horizontal axis, 
your angle is always going to be this base angle down here. So this is negative 3, this is 4. The hypotenuse, we're going to have to find out the hypotenuse because the question is, they ask, what's the sine of the angle? What's the cosine of the angle? They ask several different questions like that. But sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Well, we don't know the hypotenuse. So we've got to do the Pythagorean theorem, or in this case, 3, 4, 5 triangle. So the sine in this case would be 4 over 5. Cosine would be negative 3 over 5. Tangent would be uh, negative 4 over 3. Remember, we don't leave negatives in the denominator. Um, now, like usual, you got to be careful with your marks. Be a little nitpicky about how your answer is expressed, so make sure that you read. Does it say round to four numbers after the decimal place? Does it say round to the nearest tenth? If it shows you an answer that's point 0.1, then your answer should be like point 0.8 or point 0.4, one number after the decimal. When they say, leave it in fractional form, you need to read and see exactly it says, and for an answer like this, and it'll give you a fraction, or it'll give you a decimal. Make sure that you put it in the right form. Okay? All right.